Human Relations Approach According to Human Relations Approach, management is the study of behavior of P.O. plea at work. This approach had its origin in a series of experiments conducted by Professor Elton Mayo and his associates at the Harvard School of Business at the Western Electric Company's Hawthorne Works, near Chicago. This approach had its origin in a series of experiments conducted by Professor Elton Mayo and his associates at the Harvard School of Business at the Western Electric Company's Hawthorne Works, near Chicago. George Elton Mayo is known as the father of human relations movement. George Elton Mayo, 1880-1949, was a professor at the Harvard Business School. He published the books Human Problems of an Industrial Civilization, 1933. Social Problems of an Industrial Civilization, 1945, Training for Human Relations, 1949, etc. He conducted the famous Hawthorne experiments at the Hawthorne plant of the Western Electric Company in the USA during 1927-32 with his associates. The Hawthorne experiments provided a landmark in the evolution of management thought. The main features of the human relations approach to management are the following. A. Since management is getting things done through and with people, a manager must have a basic understanding of human behavior in all respects particularly in the context of work groups and organizations. B. The managers must study the interpersonal relations among the people at work. C. Larger production and higher motivation can be achieved only through good human relation. D. The study of management must draw the concepts and principles of various behavioral sciences like psychology and sociology. The Hawthorne experiment consists of four parts, one, illumination experiments, from these experiments, it was revealed that productivity could be increased, not only by improving the working environment, but also through informal social relations among the members of the working group. Two, relay assembly test room experiment in this experiment a small homogeneous working group was constituted. Several new elements were introduced in the work environment such as shorter working hours, proper rest periods, improved physical conditions, friendly supervision, free social interaction among the group members, and so on. During the period of the experiment, productivity and morale increased. Productivity and morale were maintained, even if the improvements in the working conditions were withdrawn. The researchers concluded that socio-psychological factors such as the feelings of being important, recognition, participation, informal work group, non-directive supervision etc. held a key for higher productivity. 3. Mass Interviewing Program A large number of workers were interviewed to know their perceptions and orientation on the working life. The results again confirmed the importance of informal relation, social and psychological needs, and their impact on the behavior of the workers. 4. Bank Wiring Observation Room Experiment A group of 14 workers was observed with regard to their work behavior. The observation revealed the informal production norms set by the workers and the existence of informal relations in the group. The conclusions of the Hawthorne experiments are pointed out below. 1. A factory is not only a techno-economic unit, but a psycho-social organization also. 2. The workers spontaneously form small informal groups. The norms and values of such groups have significant influence on the behavior and performance of the workers. 3. Physical conditions of work have some influence on the workers' morale and productivity. But their interpersonal relations, attitude of the supervisors and other social and psychological factors have a far greater influence. 4. Usually, the workers act or react not as individuals, but as the members of a group. 5. The workers are not mere economic men motivated by money alone. They respond to the total work situation including recognition, participation etc. 6. The informal leaders play an important role in setting and enforcing group norms. 7. The managers must understand and recognize the interpersonal and group relations on the job. Some specific contributions of this approach are 1. An organization is a social system with a culture of its own. 2. Informal groups have a serious impact on workers' productivity. 3. There are conflicts between the organization and the individuals. 4. Friendly supervision has a favorable influence on human efficiency at work. 5. 
free flow of communication in the organization makes for good human relations. Thank you.